Hello everybody, this is Yana here once again, and we have another toy review to show off, so, yay, um, we, but, um, yeah, um, if you've read the title, th today's review is going to be on the Ultraman Gaia Kaiju Super COV, or Supakobu, even though he's trying to say control for whatever reason, and Supa Pazuzu, or, you know, same deal with the kanji, uh, it's always gonna be Cho something. Now, um, even though Super COV came in loose, um, su uh, Super Pazutsu actually came in with a tag. I'm just gonna call these things COV and Pazutsu, um, just because uh, I don't like saying Super over and over again. So, let's get on with it. Um, we have Super Pazutsu's tag with a bizarre Philippines price tag on it, which I can't remove without damaging the tag. I tried that on some of the other figures that came in. So, um, we, uh, but I did remove it. Yes, I am a monster. Please send the hate. Please send me the hate mail somewhere, uh, so I can have fun reading it. Um, but it has a nice picture of uh, Super Pazutsu on it, and it's uh, well, they covered it up. Um, but yeah, and you have the Bandai Asia warnings on the back. So you know. Fun times now, um, it does have, have this really bizarre symbol over here. It's been different for every um, one of the 1998 uh, or 1999 series tags I've gotten, so I have no clue what that means. But uh, either way, let's get into the figures itself. Starting off, we'll start off with Super COV. Now, Kovu here is actually quite the interesting figure, actually. Um, I didn't buy the uh, most recent edition of Kobu just because it looks awful. It looks absolutely, absolutely awful. Because um, instead of having the uh, correct shade of gold, which this version has, the newest re variant has bronze for whatever reason. Um, it's gotten a lot of flack in the kaiju community for doing that. But um, thankfully, there are two other versions available the 1999 and the 2000 version. I have the 2000 version with the 1999, ver 1999 version's tag because this tail. Is super hard vinyl for whatever reason why the rest of the figure is uh, nice and squishy so I don't know um, the seller in Japan must have screwed up but you know what I think that makes mine a little more special um, in any case let's go with the articulation um, articulation it rotates at the arms does not go full 360 until you, unless you force it and but you know there really is no point to going through for 360 and the legs rotate 360 the tail is a big glue seal, but um, if you are able to break the uh, the glue seal, it turns fairly decently. It is hard vinyl after all, so I'm not expecting it to have perfect articulation. Paint job wise, it looks fairly good, um, but uh, of course it is airbrushed on there, so there are a lot of really sloppy areas. Uh, for a very nice example, we have a lot of um, paint missing on this chunk right here. Um, the the mahogany over sprays are um, a little too thick here on the insides of the gold flaps. And um, the silver spray down here is definitely not enough. Um, other than that, this, this paint job looks pretty good. Now, um, uh, since it is this close to the camera already, the detail on this figure is actually quite impressive for what it is. Can we focus, please? There we go. Now the entire skin is really textured and it's got some really nice looking ridges to it. Uh, even the bottom of the feet are somewhat painted. Uh, the paint job actually is a little lackluster if you look at it from different angles other than completely from the side. Mainly because they don't cover the entirety of the gold ridges so you have these blank spots that look really, really distracting. Um, but yeah, the uh, detail is great. The teeth however are not individually sculpted but I think that is forgivable. Um, the eyes are a little bit non-symmetrical, but you know what, that, it, it looks fine for it. It's a very symmetrical design overall. And since I'm a big fan of symmetrical designs, I dig it. And with Super COV out of the way, let's get on to Super Pazuzu. Now with Super Pazuzu here, there's really not a lot you can choose from, mainly because they only made one version of this guy. Which doesn't really make a lot of sense because he and um, Kabu over here are tag team members. Uh, they tag team Gaia and Nagu and uh, got wrecked in episode 44. So, yeah. Um, I don't know why they don't like Patsutsu very much, but this is a fine figure for what it is. Now, we're gonna start, uh, flip the order around a little bit because we're gonna start with the detail. 
Paint job on this thing is nothing too spectacular. It's a little sloppy on the edges. Um, it doesn't look 100% great, but for 1998, this is acceptable, I guess. Uh, the sprout, the the, uh, the really sandy yellow spray down here is really lazy. Um, up here is too light. Up here is too dark. Um, the chest is just this one big sprayed piece with um, with decent quality until you get to the lower abdomen. Unless this camera wants to focus, I can't show it off. Where um, you start losing some of the uh, more intricate details. The um, claw sprays are decently acceptable. The teeth, like many other Gaia Kaiju. Um, are only painted on one side, so you have this big chunk of missing paint down in the middle of the f down in the middle of the teeth, which is quite upsetting to look at. Come on, please focus. All right, thank you. Um, the tongue looks nice. The rest of the face looks very nice for what it is. It looks kind of like a gargoyle. And um, sculpt-wise, it's not as sophisticated as COV, but uh, for Kobu, but uh, the horns do look nice at least. Um, the horns are able to change shape in the show, so, you know, they could have milked this mold for even more of what it was worth. And given us, like, a crap ton of variants, where, you know, the horn just keeps changing shape, but whatever. It's, it's nothing too important. In any case, articulation, um, the torso is a glucio, which I broke promptly. And, and now it rotates 360 with a little bit of budging, because the inner rings of the arms clash with the inner ring of the torso. The arms rotate uh, a little bit, not 360, mainly because that's the way it is. And the legs rotate 360. No tear articulation on this thing, surprisingly. And in any case, that's Super Pazutsu. Sizing-wise, these figures are a complete mixed bag. Now, um, while I've completely given up on the Ultra Monster series for being maintaining any similarity of size accuracy, because these guys are not made to scale, unlike say, you know, Gundams or something. Um, I do at least expect them to look good next to each other, and unfortunately, as seen here, um, COV for Kobu is way too small for even his partner. Um, he should be at least this big, or somewhere along this line, versus his partner over there, which is, you know, th so this is quite disappointing how, you know, how tiny COV, COV is, you know, versus some oversized figures like, say, Monsarger over here. Um, yeah, no. Sizing is completely off, you know, Monsarger is 60 something, 65 meters, and um, according to the tag, Pazutsu is at least 83, so, you know, Pazutsu is way too short, um, but that doesn't really matter. But the problem is that they don't look really nice next to each other. Let's try some more Gaia Kaiju, we can try Gankyu. Uh, no, no. You can't get a really menacing looking COV appearance if he's not huge, and the problem is he's not huge, he, he's barely bigger than Gankyu. And if he's barely bigger than Gun you can't really expect him to be bigger, be bigger than you know, anybody else. Let's take, say, Gudon. Uh, well, well, okay, he's the size of Gudon, but Gudon's super hunched over, so Gudon has an excuse. Um, how about Twin Tail? Well, he's sideways, but he he's smaller than Twin Tail, technically speaking. More Ultraman, more Gaia Kaiju. Let's try Zoneru. No, this it just doesn't work. The sizing is just bad with these figures, um, and it's not like you know it's completely inaccurate because it is, but it's also that it just doesn't look nice next to each other. Um, let's try a couple more nails at the top, and first of all, we'll try to get uh, oversized mascot of the channel. Comments under. Uh, no, no, no. It's a lost cause. It, it's a completely lost cause. They're, they're, it, it looks awful. It, it just looks awful. Um, Ultra Van Gaia. Uh, you know, unless you want Guy to scare this guy's horns all day or whatever. Patsuzu at least matches Gaia's height, which is decent, but still not good enough considering in the show, Gaia was sta staring at these guys' necks. So, that is obviously a big oversight with these figures. And I honestly can't figure out why COV is actually this small. Um, it's not a particularly big figure um, versus figures like Neo Geomos, you know, no way. But for some reason, he, he uh, COV just got the um, really, really small size treatment, and that's kind of a shame. Overall, I'm gonna have to go give both of these guys three out of uh, not three. You know, that's a little too mean. 
4 out of 5. Um, they don't bring anything new to the table. They're basically your run-of-the-mill um, Ultra Monster figure. Um, COV, even though he is that short, he does actually save himself a little bit because he's got um, really nice scope work. Uh, Patsutsu is a little too, like, run-of-the-mill. There's nothing really special about him. So, yeah. Um, if you can find these guys for under, uh, I'd say, tw 15 to 20 dollars without tag, uh, oh no, actually no, under 15 dollars without tag and under 20 with tag, then I'd say pick it up, but otherwise, um, unless you're a big fan of these Gaia Kaiju that don't scale up with Gaia himself, uh, these are easy passes. So yeah, I'm Yaya9, thanks for watching, um, the overall rating for both of these guys are 4 out of 5s, and I'll see you guys later.